and we've got uh, the uh, brethren in the studio already uh, yesterday you heard their voices i'm talking about uh, uh captain uh aria uh, Ar Ar yes captain <laughs> aria is here captain aria good to have you once again Good to have you once again. Yes, sir. Uh, so we've got uh, Captain Horeb also here. Captain All praises. All praises. Uh, we've got uh, our Officer uh, Aiton here. Officer Aiton, good to Aiton. have you. Thank you for having me. Uh, we've got uh, Officer Jeremiah also. Uh, is also here. All praises. And all, praises. Uh, all the other brethren uh, supporting uh, from uh, uh, the other uh, uh, capacity. All right. Uh, good to have you once again, gentlemen. It's a pleasure to be here. Shalom, shalom, Lagos, Nigeria. I'm Captain Arie of IUIC. All right, and um, Captain Arib of IUIC, all praises to the Most High. Okay, um, yesterday we spoke about what Israel United in Christ is all about. Maybe we should have a recap. Uh, let uh, the people who are listening for the first time get to know what uh, uh, Israel United in Christ is all about. Yes, sir. So Israel United in Christ is a faith-based organization uh, that was founded in 2003 under the, well, by the Spirit of the Lord that was placed upon our senior bishop, Bishop Nathaniel in Israel. All right. uh, our main focus and the goal is to gather the diaspora of our brothers and sisters, the 12 tribes of Israel that are scattered to the four corners of the world. All right. So that's why we are here today, brothers and sisters, and it's an honor to be here in Nigeria to serve our Father. Thank you very much. And we understand that th this uh, spiritual move has been on for a while. And uh, let's let's say this. How far has this move gone now? All praises. So like you said, it, it started in New York. Um, and we have, we have just spread. We have spread all praises through the Spirit of Christ. We're spread into the four corners, to the diaspora. That's what we're looking for, to the 12 tribes that are scattered abroad, as it say, states in James 1 and 1. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. All right, yesterday, we, um, while we were talking about uh, Israel United in Christ and uh, uh, some um, very important things in the Bible, we mentioned the word Gentiles. So today, we're going to be looking at this particular uh, statement, uh, Gentiles, 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 Gentiles of the Bible. Tell us, who are the Gentiles of the Bible? Well, first and foremost, we got to understand, um, and that's, a, that's a, a heavy question. That's uh, a word that actually has a lot of our brothers and sisters in Christianity get found in. But what we're going to read is, and if you don't mind, Officer Don, let's get the definition of what Gentile means. Can you kind of explain where you're reading from for the listener? Yes, sir. Reading from the Zondervan Compact Bible Dictionary. Gentiles, usually it means a non-Israelite people. So you heard that. It said Gentiles. Usually, the majority of the time means a what? Usually, <clears throat> it means a non-Israelite people. It means a non-Israelite people. Okay, so these other nations, there's 18 nations in the Bible. We, the children of Israel, make up one of those nations out of the 18 because you won't find Nigerian we mentioned this you won't find Kenyan in the Bible so we got to understand what God calls us we are not Gentiles but what happened was due to the split if you guys online understand between Jeroboam and Rehoboam uh, uh, the house of David the northern kingdom had no dealings with the southern kingdom so what in turn happened was they went off into idolatry and started keeping the ways of the Gentiles, That's the, the northern, nations. the northern kingdom, the northern kingdom, primarily the head Ephraim. Mm. We're in the land of Ephraim today. <laughs> mm. Mm. Yes, sir. All right. So uh, let me also tell our listener that these will surely uh, give answers to your questions, and the numbers to call are zero eight zero nine three three three. One zero six seven. I'll take that number again. Zero eight zero nine three 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 one zero six seven. Another line is available, and that's zero eight zero nine two 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 one zero six seven. That zero eight zero nine two 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 one zero six seven. 
So back to um, I would like uh, uh, Officer Aiden to take that definition of Gentiles again, please. Mm -hmm. Gentiles, usually it means a non-Israelite people. Non-Israelite people. All right. Now, who is Israel united in Christ? Yes, sir. Once again, we are faith-based based organization, faith-based movement. Uh, we follow everything. We follow. We believe the Bible wholeheartedly. Okay. Um, it was established in 2003 uh, via our senior bishop, Bishop Nathaniel of Israel. Okay. And he is also assisted by bishops Yawasa and Bishop Kanai. Uh, our mission and our goal is to go forth to the four corners of the world to gather the diaspora of our people those that fit the curses and those scattered abroad so and, who, and also 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 those who call themselves gentiles right so, we got we, we can't skip we can't, we can't skip. run past that point mm -hmm. because it said usually Usual. called right. gentiles i want to go to genesis go to genesis 10 because God describes who the Gentiles are, who the original Gentiles are, and how the Israelites became Gentiles. All of this is documented within the scriptures. Genesis 10 for me. Genesis chapter 10 and verse 1. Mm -hmm. Now these are the generations of the son of Noah, mm -hmm. Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Go ahead. And unto them were sons born after the flood. So this is, all people come from these three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. When you read this chapter, it describes who the Gentiles are. Now watch this. Go ahead. Verse 2, and then I want to jump to verse 5. The sons of Japheth. This is the, he's talking about the sons of Japheth. Go ahead. Gomer mm -hmm. and Magog. So he's naming the sons. So just for time's sake, jump to verse 5. Verse 5. Go ahead. By these, by these, the sons of Japheth, go ahead. Were the isles of the Gentiles divided. These are the original Gentiles. So when you read this chapter, it shows you who the Gentiles are. The sons of Japheth. The sons of Ham from verse 6 on down, the sons of Canaan. Those are the original Gentiles. That's why the Zonovan said, usually mean a non-Israelite people. But in the New Testament, is referring to who those Gentiles, who is Paul referring to when he says no difference between Jew and Gentiles? He's talking about the Israelites. Right. No difference. If Paul was writing a letter today, he would say there's no difference between the Jews and Nigerians. Why? Because you have Jews living after Nigerian customs. Mm. Mm. And also, and also to that point, I want to go back. I want to go back because you asked who is Israel united in Christ. Yeah. You said that we are out to gather the lost tribes, okay, to, to bring them back. Well, which is actually our forefather, well, <laughs> our God, I'll say that. That's the mission of Christ. Hence the name Israel united in Christ. So let's get, a, get that. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 27. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 27, because what Catherine Hareb said is an excellent point. Many of our brothers in these Christian churches don't understand that, all right? They just say that, hey, God loves all people, the Gentiles, all nations can be saved. John 3, 16, mm -hmm. something that we definitely want to go over to today. But go ahead. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 27, mm -hmm. and the Lord shall scatter you among the nations. See, so it says the Lord shall scatter you, O Israel. If you keep reading up, this is Moses speaking to Israel. Mm -hmm. For your disrespect and disobedience and breaking of my laws that I gave you off Mount Sinai, if you go contrary, curses will befall you, and these curses are a sign. So Moses is telling us, if you go against the Lord, go ahead, read it again. And the Lord shall scatter you among the nations, uh -huh. and ye shall be left few in number among the heathen. Among the heathen. Heathen meaning nations. Those heathens are the Gentiles yes. that Captain Horeb just brought forth. So that is our mission today, to go forth and gather the remnant of Israel to bring them back to this understanding that they are Jews. They are not Nigerians. They are the children of Israel. Right. Well, um, at this point in time, I would uh, give the numbers again because I, uh, I think some people are trying to call uh, to maybe ask questions. Good. 0809 Two 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 one zero six seven zero eight zero nine two 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 one zero six seven or zero eight zero nine three 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 one zero six seven that zero eight zero nine three 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 one zero six seven. Beautiful.
beautiful. Brothers and sisters, call in. It's kind of chipping, but brothers and sisters, call in. This is what we're here for. We're here for your questions, Israel. We're here to do the job that these hireling pastors cannot do. All right, we're here to answer your questions as it is written. We've been dealing with the host here. Our brother, hey, all praises for him for allowing us to come in to be able to do this. But I want to get something else that ties in. Prophecy wise. Let's get that in John chapter 7, verse 35. I'm already there. John chapter 7, verse 35. Mm -hmm. Then said. As a matter of fact, let's get it in context. Jump up. Let's go. We'll do a little bit of reading. Verse 32. Verse 32. Mm -hmm. The Pharisees heard that the people murmured such things concerning him. And the Pharisees and the chief priests sent officers to take him. Then said Jesus unto them, Yet a little while I am with you, am I with you? And then I go unto him that sent me. Ye shall seek me, and shall not find me. So Christ is telling, who were the Pharisees during that time? The southern kingdom. Mm. Remember we were speaking about the split, the northern kingdom and oh, the, the southern, southern kingdom? kingdom. They had no dealings. Ephraim had no dealings. Okay, the head, Samaria, had no dealings with the southern kingdom. That was the reason that Paul and Barnabas came. Their office was to teach the northern kingdom. The Gentiles of today are those acting in the Gentile state of mind. That they could be grafted back in. Christ came for all 12, not just the southern kingdom. Remember, this law and this understanding of Christ was first sent to the tents of who? Judah first, when you read Zechariah 12. But the Pharisees rejected it. The Sadducees didn't believe in the resurrection. They kept trying to push our brothers back to what? Animal sacrifice, the law of Moses. When faith, which is Christ, is their salvation. Keep reading. Ye shall seek me, and shall not find me. And where I am, thither ye cannot ye come. cannot come to where I go to sit at the right hand side of the Father. Keep reading. Then said the Jews among themselves. Then, then said the Pharisees amongst themselves. What the heck? You got to be there. Put yourself there. What is, mm -hmm. what is this? What is this man talking about? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Whether will he go? Where will he go? That we should not find him. That we will not find him. Will he go unto the dispersed? That word right there. What does that word dispersed mean to the listeners online? Discutter. To, to those scattered abroad. If I had money and I dispersed it amongst my brethren and I had $10, well, all 10 of us, I got $1 and the remaining of my brothers have not. I've dispersed this money into separate regions. Mm -hmm. So read that part again. Will he go unto the dispersed among the Gentiles? Among... The Gentiles, why? Because we were scattered. The Lord said, due, due to your disobedience and disrespect, I'm going to scatter you into all nations among the Gentiles. And there you will keep the customs of the Gentiles. Birthdays, Christmas, Kwanzaa, Thanksgiving, their new moons. We do that today. God deems us as Gentiles, but all praise to the Most High. Christ has now put a spirit on us to come back and to bethink ourselves in the land of our captivity, that we are not Gentiles. So remember we read in the dictionary, it says usually a non-Greek, a, a non-Israelite Israelite man or woman, okay? Gentiles primarily meaning the other nations, all right? And if I could add, yes, 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 there's more on it. Will he go unto the dispersed among the Gentiles? Uh-huh. And teach the Gentiles. And teach the Gentiles. Who's the laws given to? The Israelites only. Yes, sir. This it's law was tribes. never given to 12 tribes. Who was in Mount Sinai with Moses? The 12 tribes. They were the ones that were given the law. The covenant was made with our forefathers, not all nations. Finish reading that. There's more. What manner of saying is this? What is Christ talking about? That he said, mm -hmm. ye shall seek me, you shall seek me, and shall not find me, uh -huh. and where I am, thither ye cannot come. Verse 37. In the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, If a man thirst, let him come unto me, mm -hmm. and drink. Mm -hmm. He that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said. Why? Because Christ is the word made flesh. He that believeth on me, as it is written... Because these pastors today don't believe on Christ as it is written. They're telling you that Christ is a white man. Mm. They push that doctrine. They don't keep the Feast of Dedication. Right. They don't keep the new moons. They don't keep the Sabbaths correctly. Right. They say all can be saved. No, those are Gentiles. Read on. 
out of his belly, out of his belly, shall flow rivers of living water. Understanding. Mm. These men, they don't have understanding. They are as vester or vessels with cracks in them that cannot retain water. Who's that water? When you read Jeremiah two thirteen, that living water is Christ. Mm -hmm. The apostles that understand. Remember, Christ said, "Out of his out belly, belly. <laughs> will flow rivers of living water." Watch right. this. Let's get Acts fifteen. Mm -hmm. Verse 22, let's see the understanding that the apostles had when they came into their ministry. This is after Christ departed. Watch this, Acts 15, verse 22. Watch Acts this. chapter 15, verse 22. This is still in reference to the Gentiles. Watch. Then pleased it the apostles and elders mm -hmm. with the whole church mm -hmm. to send chosen men of their own company to Antioch mm -hmm. with Paul and Barnabas. It pleased the apostles, Peter, John, the 12 disciples, to send men out with Paul and Barnabas. Watch this. For Namely, Go ahead. Judas, mm -hmm. surnamed Barsabbas, mm -hmm. and Silas, mm -hmm. chief men among the brethren. Come on, read on. Come and on. they wrote letters by them after this manner. This is, I want you to pay attention to the letters that they wrote after this manner. They wrote letters, put this letters in these men's hand. You go disperse this. Let's see who these letters were pertaining to. Go ahead. The apostles and the elders mm -hmm. and brethren send greeting mm -hmm. unto the brethren. Send greeting unto the brethren. To the, who, who would be our brethren? The Israelites. It says, send greeting unto the brethren. Go ahead. Which are of the Gentiles. Which are where? Of the Gentiles. Which are among the Gentiles. I've been scattered. Yeah, I've been scattered, right? The same thing Christ said. He said, listen, Christ told the disciples, if you believe what I'm saying and follow me as the scriptures say it, out of your belly shall flow living water. That understanding flowed to the disciples. And the disciples wrote different letters to those brethren that were scattered among the Gentiles. Hey, I'd like to back that up because I know you're going to ask your next question. This is the book, for time's sake. 2 Maccabees chapter 2 and verse 1. Saying exactly the same thing that Captain Horeb said. Our brothers were scattered. Okay? So read that. 2 Maccabees chapter 2 verse 1. It is also found Second in the... 2 Maccabees chapter 1. I'm sorry. 2 Maccabees chapter 1 verse 1. 2 Maccabees chapter 1 verse 1. The brethren. The what? The brethren. Read. The Jews that be at Jerusalem and in the land of Judea. Wish unto the brethren, the Jews that are throughout mm. Egypt, mm. health and peace. You see that right there? We were all over, but we understand that mm. we're all Israel. It's no difference going back to Acts that everyone came from those nations to keep the feast. You understand? Mm. Many all were scattered abroad, just like today. You have brothers in the United States, Texas. We have brothers in the Congo. We have brothers here in Lagos. We have brothers in Ghana. Okay, what Israel, we're all around, but we've been taught that we are. Meanwhile, the real Gentiles are on our land right now, as it is this day. Wow. Uh, all right. Uh, well, I, I'm, I believe that in the mind of a lot of people right now, you mentioned, uh, you made a statement while we were speaking the other time, that uh, uh, when you were referring to Israelites, the Israel, the, the people of Israel. Israeli. Israeli. Yeah, Israeli. You mentioned that. Israeli. You said, you said Nigerians are, 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 are Israelis are not Gentiles. Could you explain this? Please? The Israelis are those that inhabit the land today. They are not of Israel. You understand what I'm saying? We mm. are the Israelites. Israeli, they're just inhabitants. They're just there for a time period. They were put in the land. I, I wanted to make a difference between Israelis and Israelites. Right. Yeah, that's what I said. They're not of the land. They are not the people of the land. It's like me saying I'm an American. Okay, but I'm, I'm not... I'm not how how could I I'm say that? I'm not a, I'm not yeah citizenship. I would be considered a denizen there. Mm. You understand? They're transplants into that land. They okay. just inhabit that land, but they're not of that land. They are Israelis because Israel. they inhabit the land, land at this now. at this time. At this time period, mm. they are not Israelites. Right. 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 It's, All right. It's, so, it's, it's no different. It's no different when you read Psalms. Mm -hmm. uh, Psalms chapter forty nine is it verse eleven? Eleven. Yes. They named the land. Yes. America was named after America Vespucci. Right. That's who they land. They named that landmass after. So when we say we are Americans, we're naming ourselves after the man who originally inhabited the land. Mm -hmm. Watch this. Let's read this. Psalms chapter forty-nine, verse eleven. Go ahead. Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever. He said, our inward thought is that all our houses will continue forever. Watch this. And read. their dwelling places. 
to all generations. Go ahead. They call their lands. We usually call it the, the lands. Go ahead. After their own name. He said, this is what this is what nations do. Once you conquer a land, you call that land after your own name. So when we inhabited the land of Canaan, we called it after our own name, Israel. This is why when we were scattered to the four corners, you got converts that moved in. They call themselves Israelis. Mm. You understand? No difference between us awesome. being scattered to America. Now we call ourselves America. Right. You understand? Yeah. Yes. And yeah. just to back up what Cap said, remember, Israel is a people yes. before it's a place. place. Yes. Israel well, is let's a not people forget that. Mm. Before, before it's a place. place. So going yes. back to when he said the mm. land of Canaan. Mm -hmm. okay. mm. All right, so are Nigerians Gentiles? That's the next question. Are Nigerians Gentiles? Uh, and I mentioned this before, yes and no. And the reason why I say yes is because many of, just alone, the name Nigerian is a Gentile name. Mm. Okay, so, but they, but as according to the flesh, okay, they are not the Gentiles. They are the tribe of Ephraim. They are Israelites according to the Bible. But they carry on Gentile customs. Let me show you that. Let's go to the book of 2 Maccabees chapter 4. I'm going to start there. And I want verse 15. 2 Maccabees chapter 4 verse 15. You know what? Let's read up. Let's read up. Because he, he the question that he said was beautiful. Are Nigerians Gentiles? Let's say, let's answer the first part. Mm. Why I say yes. yes. All right. Read a verse 9. 2 Maccabees chapter 4, verse 9. Beside this, he promised to assign 150 more if he might have license to set him up a place for exercise. Who's the he there? This is going into a wretched backtrack, back, uh, turncoat trader of our people by the name of Jason. He wanted position. No difference than a lot of these dictators throughout Africa, through all the colonizers, get paid and are set up for position. Mm. So he chose certain things that the Greeks did. He interpreted, he in turn placed it and started taking taking on those customs and was trying to push that amongst our people. So read on. And for the training up of youth in the fashions of the heathen. In the fashions of the heathen. So earlier I said if he might have a license to set up a place for exercise. Remember you and I spoke about that? The places for exercise today are known as what? Gymnasiums or gymnos, place to be naked. Finish reading that, where it says place to exercise, come on. If he might have license to set him up a place of exercise, uh -huh. and for the training up of youth in the fashions of the heathen, uh -huh. and to write them of Jerusalem by the name of Antiochians. It was a Greek title, mm. okay? So what was taking place, assimilation into Gentile customs and sports. Today, what do we have here in Nigeria? Football. Soccer. You guys are running back and forth in this gymnasium. That's something that the heathen did. We're guys. We won't run around kicking no damn ball in the net. Read on. Which when the king, which when the king and granted had granted, and he had gotten into his hand the rule, mm -hmm. he forward brought his own nation to the Greekish fashion. What did that? What happened right there? What is that known as? Hellenization. You had Hellenized Jews, Greek. Speaking Jews, just going back to what we were saying, what Paul said, there's neither Jew nor Greek mm -hmm. bond those born into captivity or those freeborn. Remember, Paul was freeborn. OK, so keep going. And the royal privileges granted a special favor to the Jews by the means of John, the father of Eupolemus. Jump down to verse 13. Verse 13. Mm -hmm. Now such was the height of Greekish fashions. Okay, so they built a place for exercise and such was the height. It was the big hurrah! Greekish fashions. Go ahead. Now such was the height of Greek fashions. An increase of he no, heathenish, heathenish manners. Heathenish customs and manners. No difference than today. Christianity, the sports, the holidays, the holidays, birthdays. Read on. Through. The exceeding profaneness of Jason, uh -huh. that ungodly wretch, uh -huh. and no high priest. Why? Because he wasn't set up to be a priest. But here it is, you have this dude, this guy that is, this demon that is, that said he did away with the customs of his forefather and wanted to in turn bring forth the heathen Gentile ways. Read on. That the priest had no courage to serve anymore S at the altar. So Levi had no courage. He, they, they weren't trying to keep the law or bring forth. Okay, fruits meet for repentance 
amongst the nation of Israel. They didn't want to serve their office. Read on. But despising the temple and neglecting the sacrifices, uh -huh. hasten to be partakers of the unlawful allowance in the place of exercise after the game of discus. Wait a minute. Where have you ever heard of that before? The game of discus. What does America and Babylon push so heavy? The Olympics, mm. Greekish fashions. They'll set it up in different nations. Okay, Nigeria, you get your year this year where you're going to take the fire and put it into the pylon. Okay, America, you'll be in Philadelphia this year. Okay, they're throwing the disc, shot put, track and field. This is all Greek customs, sports, football in these arenas. That's Greek customs. That's not our customs. Read on. After the game of discus called them forth, uh -huh. not setting by the honors of their fathers, but like in the glory of the Grecians, best of all. They like the glory, they like the customs of the Greeks, the Gentiles, best of all. Now from there, jump to chapter 6, verse 6. 2 Maccabees, chapter 6, verse 6. Uh -huh. Neither was it lawful for a man to keep Sabbath days or ancient feasts. So when's our Sabbath day, brothers and sisters? For those listening in Lagos, the Sabbath day is the seventh day of the month, or, or of, of the, the week. week. Of the week. During the time of Christ, who was ruling? Rome. That same calendar is in place today. The Gregorian calendar. The seventh day of the week is Saturday. Sunday is the first day of the week. So why the heck is the church going to work? Why are y'all going to church on Sundays? When That's the Sabbath day is the seventh day right. of the week. Go ahead. Neither was it lawful for a man to keep Sabbath days or ancient feasts uh -huh. or to profess himself at all to be a Jew. So remember, even before that, remember we spoke about John 10, 22, that Christ kept the feast of what? Dedication or what is known as Hanukkah. Now they don't even mention Hanukkah or the feast of dedication or the wonderful acts done by our forefathers, the Maccabees. Christianity has dumbed things down. Christianity was given to you by your oppressors. Right. Or to profess himself at all to be a Jew. Uh -huh. And in the day of the king's birth every month. And in the day of the king's birth every month. What was happening? They were being forced to keep the king's birthday every month. Go ahead. They were brought by bitter constraints. They were, they were suppressed. It was suppression. It was uh, uh, oppression. Okay, to them, that they were brought by bitter constraint. Go ahead. To eat of the sacrifices. To eat of the sacrifices. What were those sacrifices during this king's feast? Pork, swine, crab, mm. lobster, shrimp. Things that we're not supposed to eat. That goes against the dietary law of the Jews. Go ahead. And when the feast of Bacchus was kept. That word Bacchus, who was Bacchus? A Greek god of orgies, reveling, and drunkenness. Go ahead. The Jews were compelled to go in procession to Bacchus carrying ivy. Carrying ivy. So there was all types of orgies and fornication and evil debauchery and wickedness going on. We were forced to keep this. This is how we became Gentiles. Let me read verse 9. Yes, sir. Verse 9. And whoso would not conform themselves to the manners of the Gentiles. Oh, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who should not transition or become or assimilate. Go ahead. To the manners of the Gentiles. The Gentiles. Should be put to death. Mm. Then might a man have seen the present misery. Read on. For there were two women brought who had circumcised their children. Whom, when they had openly led round about the city, mm -hmm. the babies hanging at their breasts. You see this? Go ahead. They cast them down headlong so now, from the our wall. So now, our custom is that on the eighth day, our boy children, our men children, the sons, are to be circumcised according to the, the, the law of Leviticus, the 12th chapter. Which mm -hmm. actually yes, sir. is kept by what tribe, Cap? The the Ebus keep the same customs. Bring it out. The Yorubas too. They keep the, the Yorubas, Yorubas as well. Keep the same customs. So it says that if we did not assimilate, they had stopped us from circumcising our sons the eighth day, and they took these children and cast them down over the walls. So you had all this going on before our forefathers, the Maccabees, stepped in to rededicate and cleanse the temple. And set things back in order. So you see right there, you had to assimilate to be a Gentile. Sure. That's how we became Gentiles. We kept the ways of our colonizers and our oppressors. So not by because of our birth, but because of the uh, the the ways of the colonizers. Yes, right. sir. Yes, sir.
All right, we've been speaking with brethren from Israel United in Christ. And I can see that this is really getting interesting by this second. You can be a part of this show. You can give, uh, give us a call and ask questions. They are here to answer your questions. 0809-222-1067. That's 0809-222-1067. Or... 0809 333 Definitely, um, the brethren from Israel United in Christ may not be able to tell you everything uh, that they would have loved to tell you, but definitely uh, will give their numbers. You can reach them much later. But let's take, we have a call already. Hello? Okay. Hello. Yes, they are listening. I barely here. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. On the call back. Hello, sir. Is it possible for you to call back because the line is not very clear? Can you give us a call back, please? And turn down the volume on your radio set so that we can hear you very well. Please, we'll be expecting your call, please. We'll be expecting your call. Thank you. Okay, uh, we have another call. Hello? Uh, good, uh, good morning. Oh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Okay, go ahead. What's your name, please? Ephraim, calling from Agbara. Go ahead, please. Ephraim, Ephraim, could you do us a favor? Could you turn down the volume on your radio set so that we can hear you very well? <laughs> All right. Okay, better. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. All right. If, if I'm getting this correct, he said, saying, why were our forefathers worshippers of the traditional, of our customs? Yes, yes. Okay, why do you keep those customs? Let me show you something. Can we go? Let's get that. Let's get that. Uh, uh, Ephraim, you can, you can end the call so, so that you can listen via the radio. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, remember, Jeremiah 17 and 4. Let's go there first. We're going we're gonna to walk through this, okay? Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 4, verse 4. You have something to read, right? Yes, sir. Yep. Jeremiah yes, sir. chapter 17, verse 4. Uh -huh. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage. So, brother online, sisters online, consider what's taking place. This is our forefather, Jeremiah. The Most High God is telling Jeremiah himself. Now, Jeremiah knew who he was. But why is it that God said, Jeremiah, you yourself shall what? Discontinue from thine heritage. Read on that I gave thee, uh -huh. and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies uh -huh. in the land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in mine anger, uh -huh. which shall burn forever. Uh -huh. Thus saith the Lord, Cursed be the man that trusted in man. Now, so that goes right. Cursed be the man that trusts into our oppressors and the, 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 the doctrines and philosophies that they have. Instead, we're to come and trust the Lord. So going back to what Jeremiah is saying here, God told Jeremiah, you're going to discontinue from who you are. Mm. You're not going to know that you're Israel. In the land, showing you what? Regeneration. That we are those same spirits that come back. The Lord's judgment is like a ring. So all the prophets of old are here on the earth today, but they have to come back and bethink themselves in the land of their captivity of who they were. You understand what I'm saying? From there, because it goes right back to his question, why do we keep these customs? Okay, let's get that. Psalms 1, oh, no, Luke chapter 21 and 20. We read it earlier. We read it earlier. Luke chapter 21 and 20, okay, going back to his question. Let's get that really fast. Luke, Luke, speed read. Come on. Luke chapter 21, verse 20. Uh -huh. And when ye shall see Jerusalem come past with armies, mm -hmm. then know that the desolation thereof is nigh. Then let them which are in Judea Flee to the mountains, and let them which are in the midst of it depart out. Uh -huh. And let not them that are in the countries enter thereunto. Uh -huh. For these be the days of vengeance. Hey, hold on, sir. Please hold on, sir. Just hold on. Hold on, sir. 
For these be the days of vengeance, uh -huh. that all things which are written may be fulfilled. Read. But woe unto them that are with child, Read. and to them that give suck in those days. Read. For there shall be great distress in the land, and wrath upon this people. So what's taking place here is the siege that took place upon our people in 70 AD behind Titus and Vespasian. Okay. They came, they sacked Jerusalem, and we as a people fled into the interiors of Africa. Mm. All right. From there, give me that in Psalms 106. What happened when we dispersed and ran into the west coast of Africa amongst Ghana? Amongst uh, Guyana, uh, give me some more. Gold the Coast, Congo, Togo, Togo Zaire, Zaire, and Abidjan, here, right? And here in Nigeria, what took place when we fled? Because remember, we discontinued from our heritage. Read Psalms chapter one hundred six, verse thirty-four. Uh -huh. They did not destroy the nations concerning whom the Lord commanded them, but were mingled among the heathen. They were mingled among the Gentiles, the real Gentiles, the heathen. And learned their works. And learned their works. When we dispersed and ran and fled the siege, we came into different parts of Africa and intermingled amongst ourselves with the real Nilotic people. Those are your Hamitic people today. Hamites, you know, the real dark ones, bloodshot red eyes. You're able to tell the difference between Nigerians and those real Ham Hamitic people. Okay? But we mingled among them and learned their works. Now today, here it is, you have certain tribes cutting their skin, saying, oh, well, that's how we differentiate one another. When the Lord already gave you a dress code to tell who's who, mm. we walked away and stepped away from that. The circumcision. A lot of those Nilotic tribes would sacrifice their children. Mm -hmm. We picked those customs up and began to do it too. So we mingled amongst the heathen and learned their works, but certain customs we kept, like circumcision. Mm. Mm. All right, uh, we have voices of uh, brethren from Israel United in Christ. And, uh, of course, uh, the man that called earlier, uh, please, you can call again. And all those who would like to ask questions. Ephraim, I hope your question has been answered. Okay, we have a call now. Hello, good afternoon. Hello, good afternoon, sir. Hello, can you hear me? Uh, hello? I think there's a network issue there. Well, uh, hopefully he'll call back. Hopefully, hopefully he'll call back. Zero eight. Okay. Um, yeah. While while he's calling back, while he's calling back, I want to I want to bring this point. I don't want to miss the point. Okay. Of our people that were scattered uh, amongst the Hermetic people in Africa when we were fleeing Roman persecution. All right. We want to read about the Yorubas. Uh, let him know what book you read. The Yorubas, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Let's read that. Uh, what book you read? Yes. This is From Babylon to Timbuktu by Rudolf R. Winsor. Mm. Page 131. Yoruba Jews of Nigeria. Mm. Yoruba Jews of Nigeria. Mm -hmm. They are black Jews mm. in southern Nigeria mm. who are called the Imo Yokoem mm. or strange people. You see that? The, the people of the land, which we just read in Psalms 106, we were mingled amongst those people. They were calling us the strange people because we had different laws that were against their laws of the land. Mm. We kept things like the circumcision. We kept things like Feast of First Fruits, the Passover. That was strange to the other yeah. nations. Go ahead. By the native name Bani Ephraim. Bani Ephraim. That's where he got the That's name Ephraim. The, name mm. Ephraim. the right. sons of Ephraim. Bani Ephraim. Go ahead. Or sons of Ephraim. Go ahead. These Jews, these what? Jews. These are the Jews. These are the real Jews, not those that are dwelling in Israel, calling themselves Israelis. These are the real Jews that are here, calling themselves Yoruba. This are Benin Ephraim, the sons of Ephraim. Go ahead. These Jews claim that their ancestors immigrated mm -hmm. from Morocco, mm -hmm. a fact which Godby says is supported by their language, mm -hmm. a mixture of Megharit. Megharibi, mm -hmm. Arabic, mm -hmm. and local Negro speech. You see that? All these things, it supports, it backs up the evidence of who we are. This is why we speak that language, because wow, we were mingled amongst them, and we started to take on their customs over time. Mm -hmm. But originally, when our ancestors fled and got there originally, we were keeping mm -hmm. our laws mm -hmm. to the best of our abilities, and they were calling us strange, the strange people. 
All yeah, praise to the most high. We have customs. They call us a peculiar people. Right. Peculiar because people. our laws are different. Just no difference than what you said, those customs mm -hmm. of our Pentecost Day. What do you what do you guys call it here? Yam Day. Am I not mistaken? Uh, new, 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 what is it? New Yam. New Yam. New Yam, new Yam Festival. New Yam Festival. That's the Feast of Pentecost. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> can, I, can I read one more? Yes, one more sir. Please go ahead. So out of the same book, the assertion of these Yoruba Jews is that their ancestors were driven from locality to lo locality by Muslim persecution. Mm -hmm. Bring that up. Bring that point up. So Bring that up. that's why now you see a lot of our people, they were celebrating uh, Ramadan, mm -hmm. the end of that, just this week. Right. Mm -hmm. Because we were forced into serving Islam or following after that religion by the Arabians, the by, Ara Sub by the Sub-Sahara slave, slave trade, which is still going on Today. right now. Me and you are still being sold in some of those Ar Arabic countries Arabia. right now. Hmm. So, um, what other thing? What other thing that came with the slavery from the Arabians is that there was a distorted information. They told the Yorubas that they migrated from Morocco. No, sorry, from uh, Egypt, Egypt. Instead of telling them they migrated from Israel. Uh, wow. Okay. Wow. Yes, sir. Let, let, let's take this call. Okay. Hello. Okay, uh, uh, Mr. Edward, please, could you turn down the volume on your radio set? Okay. All right. All right, go ahead, sir. Okay. Okay. So basically, no, don't, no, don't bring the law. <laughs> All right. Okay. They're they going. They're, they're going to read that now. <laughs> okay. You ready? All right, sir. You ready? Yeah. All right, so, so what he quoted sure, originally sure is Galatians, right Galatians, Galatians chapter 3, mm -hmm. and let's start at verse 12. Galatians chapter 3, verse 12. Mm -hmm. And the law is not of faith. The, the How this is written, when you examine Peter's letters, Peter lets us know that Paul's writings are hard to be understood. Mm -hmm. It's hard to be understood, and, and people stumble at it just like they stumble at the rest of the scriptures. Right. Watch this. Uh, we get that. First okay, Peter's. That Watch, watch, watch. And just take notes, brothers. Just take notes, yeah. brothers and sisters, yeah. because this is that that ideology that he just that's he just that's spoke that's of right there. We got that from the colonizer. We got that from the same people who told us that we came from uh, um, uh, Egypt and not Israel. That lied to us. You got it, Peters? Yeah, Second Peters chapter 3, three and verse 15. verse 15. Watch this. An account that long suffering of our Lord of salvation, Come on. even as our beloved brother Paul also, according to the wisdom given unto him, have written unto you. Right. Come on. As also in all his epistles, mm -hmm. speaking in them of the of these things, mm -hmm. and which are some things mm -hmm. hard to be understood. He says some of his letters are hard to be understood. Go ahead. Which they that are unlearned. Which they that if you're unlearned, you're not keeping the commandments. Go ahead. And unstable Go rest. Ahead. Go ahead. As they do also the other scriptures. Go ahead. Unto their own destruction. He says Paul's letters, people wrestle with it as they do all the rest of the other scriptures to your own destruction. So when you come back right here, let's read Galatians. Galatians chapter 3 verse 12. Watch. And the law is not of faith. This law right here that he's saying is not of faith, it can't be talking about the entire law. Because in another verse, he tells you those, no, don't be deceived. Let's hold this, 1 Corinthians 6 and 9. Mm -hmm. Watch, watch what he says. Paul's not contradicting himself, is he? No. No. Now watch what he says. First Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9. Watch. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Unrighteous means you're not keeping the commandments. It says, don't you know unrighteousness is not going to get to the kingdom of God? Go ahead. Be not deceived. Don't be deceived. Neither fornicators. 
No idolaters. Come on. No adulterers. Mm -hmm. No effeminate. Mm -hmm. No abusers of themselves with mankind. Sodomy. Go ahead. No thieves. Mm -hmm. No covetous. Mm -hmm. No drunkards. Mm -hmm. No revelers. No extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. These are all things you're not going to get the kingdom of God. If you're breaking those laws, you're not getting the kingdom of God. So when we come back to Galatians 3 and 12, read it again. Galatians chapter 3 verse 12. Just one second. And the law is not of faith. They said the law is not. What law is he talking about? The law of animal sacrifice. Mm. The a law. That's the only law that is done away with. Animal sacrifice. We break it down into five categories of law. You got the law of sacrifice. The ceremonial laws, which is your Passover, your new moons. You got the uh, um, the dietary laws, which we, what we can eat. The moral laws, what we how we deal, and the civil law, how we deal with each other. The only law that's done away with is the sacrificial law, because Christ was the Lamb of God. Watch this. Read. But the man that doeth them mm -hmm. shall live in them. He said, "But the man that doeth what." The law shall live in them. The laws of God shall live in them. Come on. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. What What is he referring to? Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Because I'm going to give you just for time's sake. If you committed <laughs> sodomy, meaning if a man slept with a man under the law of Moses, you will be put to death. You understand that? So he, Christ redeemed us. Once Christ came on the scene and he died for us. Now a sodomite, if you caught up in that life. We won't stone you. We won't put you to death. You have an opportunity to do what? Repent. 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 You understand? Okay. Watch. Go ahead. Hold on one second. Let me, let me finish it up. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, uh -huh. being made a curse for us, mm -hmm. for it is written, mm -hmm. Cursed is everyone that hangeth on a tree. Uh -huh. All right. Let's take this call quickly. Hello, madam. Yes. I got you. Yes. Yes. Welcome, ma'am. We can't barely hear. Okay. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Hmm. She must have heard. Can you translate? Can you try? Hmm. All right. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. She's saying she's very happy for this. All right. Oh, all right. Oh, all right. Thank you very much, Madam Anemika. Oh, yeah. so, uh, all right. But mother, he, he, wants, he wants to speak with you. Right. Mother, Hold mother, on. come and learn. Come and learn. If, if you're hearing this, because this, this is the yeah, glorious gospel. Yes, ma'am. This is. Yeah. He's, he's yeah, talking to you. Talking yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. This is the glorious gospel that uh, that the Lord has brought to his people. So for you to have that joy, sis, the angels rejoice over just one. So what we need you to do is to continue, come, support, fellowship, and learn. Mm -hmm. We have a school here. You want to let the sister know where the school's at? Okay, so our address is 161 Eju Road, Fagba Bus Stop, Eju. 161 Eju Road, Fagba Bus Stop, Eju. 161. Yes. Iju Road, yes. Fagba, Bus Stop, mm -hmm. Iju, yes, in Lagos, yes. yes. And our phone numbers are 090 090-7879-04-0438. So and for those who are listening right now, just get your pen and your paper ready and write down these phone numbers. And the other number is, is 081 0 Eight one three five three five two five two five six nine six nine four one four one. You have any question concerning Israel United in Christ? Call these numbers. Yes, the numbers are again zero nine zero zero nine zero seven eight seven eight seven nine seven nine zero four zero four three eight three eight or zero eight one zero eight one three five three five two five two five six nine six nine four one four one. Both numbers are WhatsApp enabled, so you can reach us on WhatsApp or call. All right. Right, thank you very much. Hey, you know what? Just going back to what Captain Hareb said in First Corinthians chapter six and nine, because Eliezer made a statement. He Eliezer. said, "Grace, grace, 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 mm -hmm. grace." But Cap just proved that in First Corinthians, the New Testament, mm -hmm. 
that the laws are still being kept. You can't get the kingdom of heaven if you're breaking the law. Mm. So now let's prove that because he said grace, Romans 6 and 1. Romans chapter 6 verse 1. Uh -huh. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? What is sin? Let's get what is sin. What is sin for the viewer at home? Because the pastors in these churches are not teaching people that there was a law that was given to one nation of people mm -hmm. and that we are still under the law of God. Come on. First John chapter three, verse four. Mm -hmm. Moreover, whosoever committed sin, whosoever commits sin, transgresseth also the law. I shall not kill. I, I shall not steal. So it's OK for me to come and kill your brother and you have to forgive me. Mm -hmm. Did mm -hmm. I not sin against my brother? Mm -hmm. Well, the colonizer would tell you, you got to forgive him. Meanwhile, he's committed all types of atrocities throughout the United States, throughout the, uh, the interiors of Africa and abroad. And what does he tell you? You have to forgive me for God so loved the world. God loves us, too. No, 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 no. The law was only given to the Israelites. We are the ones that commit sin against our Heavenly Father. So read that again. Whosoever committed sin, whosoever commits sin, transgresses also the law. Read on. For sin is the transgression of the law. So sin is the transgression of the law. Now read verse one again. Romans chapter six, verse one. Uh -huh. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? What is that grace? What is that grace? You ever owed a bill? And they give you either an extension or a grace period mm. to settle your affairs. If you don't meet that grace period, let's just say your bill was due on the 30th. You had five days to complete and pay that rent or that bill. You didn't meet the five days. What happens? Lights out and you're evicted and pushed Absolutely. out. Absolutely. It's the same thing with Christ. Christ died on the cross because we're all supposed to be annihilated. Mm. Okay? Christ became the ultimate sacrifice. He took on the sins of that nation, this mighty nation, Israel. So now Christ is telling you, get yourselves prepared before I come back. That's why we are here in Lagos That's to true. warn the people, to let them know, hey, get your behinds in order. Because when Christ comes back, many of y'all are going to die. Like the days of Noah. Right. right. Repent. But this time it's not going to be water. It's going to be fire. Fire. Okay. A lot of killing is going to go down. So, Read it one more time for time's sake. Romans chapter 6 verse 1. Uh -huh. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Uh-huh. God forbid. Heck no. You have a grace period to get yourself right, repent, and come back and bethink yourselves. First Corinth, uh, First Kings 8. Let's see what God said to do in the lands of our captivities. First Kings chapter 8 verse 46. Mm -hmm. If they sin against thee. Wait a minute. What is sin? The breaking of God's laws. The breaking of God's laws. If they, they, this particular nation, the 12 tribes, come on. If they sin against thee, uh -huh. for there is no man that sinneth not. Read. And thou be angry with them. And God, you be angry with your people. And deliver them to the enemy. Wait a minute. God has enemies. Remember, we went over that yesterday. Mm -hmm. Read on. So that they carry them away captives unto the land of the enemy far or near. Deuteronomy chapter 4. We just read that. The Lord will scatter us abroad our enemies, the Gentiles. Go ahead. Yet, if they shall bethink themselves. If they come back. Hey, wait a minute. Are you Yoruba? Well, no. I'm from the tribe of Beni Ephraim. I'm an Israelite. I'm supposed to be keeping the commandments of God. Go ahead. In the land, whether they were carried captives. In their captor's land. And repent. And repent. And make supplication unto thee. Heavenly Father, forgive us of our tri uh, tribulations and trespass against you. Lord, forgive us. Go ahead. In the land of them that carried them captives, saying, we have sinned uh -huh. and have done perversely. Uh -huh. We have committed wickedness. Uh -huh. And so return unto thee with all their heart what? and with all their soul. What is the heart? It's going into what? Mark chapter what? 7, what? verse 20. What? One. The heart is your mind. Okay? Go ahead. Finish now. And so return unto thee with all their heart and with all their soul uh -huh. and the land of their enemies, uh -huh. which led them away captive. Uh -huh. And pray unto thee toward their land. Where's our land at? Jerusalem, Northeast Africa. There is no Middle East. Jerusalem is Africa. Right. They. What did, what did our colonizers do? They created what is known as the Suez Canal and split it and deemed it the Middle East. When Jerusalem and Israel is in Africa. Right. Read on. Which thou gavest unto their fathers, the city which thou hast chosen, and the house which I have built for thy name. You see that there? So we and we in the lands of our captivities must come back use, utilizing this grace period that Christ gave us to get our affairs in order before he comes back. All right. Let's take this.
Okay. Uh, okay. All right, um, uh, Miss Miss Edward. Hello, Miss Edward. Hello, Miss Edward. Hello, Miss Edward. Hold on, Miss Edward. Please hold on. Can you hear me? Yes, I'm good. Now, uh, what is going to happen now is this. I'm going to, well, I'm going to, we're going to call the number again. Okay, you can call the number and just explain whatever you want to explain to them, and they will explain to you. Okay, but you cannot say that someone is confusing himself. No, uh, we, we won't take that. Okay, all right. So, so we'll take the number again. Zero eight one. Wait, wait, uh, okay, wait, 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 wait. Uh, uh, Mr. Edward. Hello, Mr. Edward. Now, I want you to end the call now and get the number, please. Do that. End the call and get the number, please. Do that now. End the call and take the number now. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's have the number quickly. Okay, the numbers are 0907. 0907. 879. 879. 04. 04. 38. Three eight again. Oh. We're going to take that number. So for those who want to get it down, you want to know more about Israel United in Christ. These are the numbers to take. Let's take the number again. Zero nine zero seven. Zero nine zero seven. Eight seven nine. Eight seven nine. Zero four three eight. Zero four three eight. And the second number. Zero eight one three. Zero eight one three. Five two five. Five. Two five six nine four one six nine four one. Let's take it again, please. Zero eight one three zero eight one three five two five five two five six nine four one six nine four one. I must say that our time is fast spent, but I can assure you. Uh, the listener out there that uh, this is a spiritual movement and it's not going to end here. Uh, the brethren from Israel United in Christ will definitely make this a continuous continuous event so you can hear, you can learn more uh, on this station especially through this channel, Israel United in Christ. Brethren, I keep messing up, you know, Wallace. Wallace, Wallace, right. <laughs> Rolex, yes, our brother Rolex here on this radio station, and brothers and sisters, call in and make sure, even after this program, support this radio station here, support this radio station, go ahead, Isaiah chapter 29, verse 10, uh -huh. for the Lord have poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep, and have closed your eyes, the prophets and your rulers, the seers, have he covered, the seers are our teachers, mm -hmm. okay, the seers are these prophets today, these false prophets today. Some of our men, these pastors, God poured out the spirit of deep sleep. They don't understand or know who they are. Read on. Verse 11. And the vision of all is become unto you as the word of a book that is sealed. This Bible is sealed to them. Yeah, they may be able to read it from the front to the back like a story, but they don't have the understanding. Mm -hmm. Read on. Which men deliver to one that is learned, saying, well, read this. Read this. Please break this down. Explain to me, who are we according to this Bible? What mm -hmm. must we be doing? Read on. I pray thee. Uh -huh. And he saith, I cannot. I cannot. For it is sealed. It is sealed. Read. And the book is delivered to him that is not learned, saying, uh -huh. read this. I pray thee. And he saith, I am not learned. Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth and with their lips do honor me, but have removed their hearts far from me, and their fear toward me is taught by the precepts of men. Philosophies and doctrines of our colonizers. So we must come back and learn. You must be keeping the laws because it's a book that is sealed. Mm. Not everybody understands what the Bible is saying. Thank you so much. And with that, we want to say a very big thank you to the brethren from Israel United in Christ. And uh, we hope you had a great time. You've learned uh, quite a lot. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you so thank much. You. Well, we hope to have you some other time. Yes, sir. Thank you. Bye for now. Praise. Oh, great. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is 
Nation is you.